The Weekend in Jacksonville with Dan Hicken is presented by Millennium Physician Group, your connection to a healthier life. What's up, Jacksonville? Favorite media mogul Dan Hickett here talking sports, all things Jacksonville sports coming up this weekend. Let's start with our Jaguars. Do we have to? Yes, I told you a week ago. Armageddon Sunday has come and gone. The Jags stink. They're 2-10. They just got hammered by the Rams, so we move forward. We had the James Robinson controversy all week long. That was interesting. That was fun to play with, wasn't it? Uh, I expect you'll be in the lineup and get a few more carries this weekend. And James, do yourself a favor and hold out of that football this uh, this Sunday when you go up to Tennessee to take on the Titans. The Titans are a beat-up football team, but they're getting healthier uh, finally, and they're way better than the Jaguars. They're 8-4, and four and they're playing at home, and we don't win in Tennessee. And we've had some, gosh, embarrassments in Tennessee. So I'm not feeling too great about this game. I'm not feeling great about any game left on the schedule, but... I'm hoping the Jaguars can at least start to play a little bit better. I'm hoping the Jaguars take some deep shots with Trevor Lawrence. I'm hoping the Jaguars can figure out ways to get more out of Trevor. So those are some of the things that I'm looking for going forward. we got five games to go. It's going to be a painful, arduous December. This is not what you envision when you talk about December football, gang. Uh, no, 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 no. That's why we're doing draft talk and looking at free agents and stuff like that. On the radio, but the Jags playing out the string in Tennessee Sunday. Tough one for Jacksonville. All eyes on Lawrence, Urban Meyer, James Robinson, those guys going forward and how they're able to respond over this last month of the season. It's recruiting season in college football and just calm down, Gator fans. Ease up. It's going to be okay. Look, if you're just based on what's happening right now, you're in a panic. Billy Napier said it was going to be this way. Focus instead on the hiring of Corey Raymond. From LSU, defensive backs coach who has reeled in, oh, I don't know, six or seven, five stars in his last eight years or more than Florida has signed as a football program. Yeah, let's focus on that. Let's trust in Billy Napier. Let's let him put his plan forward. Let's let him get some guys. Let's see how this plays out before we go all panicky scanicky on recruiting. Uh, If you are, you're a little impatient. Patience is a virtue. Meantime, in Tallahassee, tried to hire an AD. News breaking uh, this week that it won't be Vince Tyra from Louisville. So we'll see what's up next for FSU. And recruiting's going well for Florida State. They're going to try to get a top 15 class, I think. And and that would be very good. That'd be a positive step for Mike Norvell. Keep an eye on the transfer portal. He's really good in the portal a year ago. And there's a guy who played quarterback for LSU, who's beaten the Gators twice, whose dad played at FSU, named Brad Johnson. His son, two sons, are sort of in the portal. Max is a quarterback. His brother is one of the best tight ends in the country and uh, was verbally committed to LSU. He won't be going there. He's going to go with his brother. So if I was FSU, I'd be calling Johnson and Johnson a great deer. Locally... Trinity Christian, baby. Verlin and the boys getting ready to play for a state championship against your favorite Champagne Catholic tonight. I don't know if I said that right, but I took a shot. I do know how to say Trinity. I do know how to say Dormany. I do know that he's won, I think, eight state championships. I think he's going for number nine. Hey, uh, best of luck to the guys from Trinity, that young quarterback. We've had him in studio a few times. Good, nice young man, Colin Hurley. So uh, wishing them well. That's all we got today, ladies and gentlemen. Check out all your sports matchups this weekend. Gator basketball has a big game against Maryland going forward on the weekend. The Jaguars in Tennessee. Enjoy the weekend, gang, and enjoy beautiful Jacksonville FLA. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.